Temos o prazer de termos em companhia aqui um dos grandes arquitetos contemporâneos, Tom Main, responsável pelo escritório e estudo Morfoses. Ele veio justamente pelo fato de termos uma exposição de arquitetura do Tom Main dos últimos 10, 15 anos, os projetos dele recentes. É, também outro dado importante, e eu estou vendo aqui que, em sua maioria, são estudantes de arquitetura, Tom Main é um professor de arquitetura né, na Universidade da Califórnia, já lecionou em várias das universidades norte-americanas. E, por fim, o Instituto quer agradecer a Engefor e as leis de incentivo à cultura. Eu tenho estado uh, praticando por uh, 30 anos, e eu comecei a minha própria prática quando eu era muito jovem, eu era 26 anos. Eu comecei com pequenos projetos muito pequenos, e eles estavam em busca de uma for an idea, for an intellectual, conceptual structure. And I was um, in formation, like all the young people are coming out of the university. But I thought it'd be interesting to start uh, this afternoon with a discussion that's maybe more connected to Sao Paulo and to Brazil. I would have said that um, there seems to be a singular figure, and it's someone that's much admired all over the world, and of course that's Oscar Niemeyer and that, um, that he's had a somewhat profound influence over your country and over the, um, the status of architecture and the direction of architecture. But it's um, from what I can see from the outside looking in, it's quite singular. It's a very uh, powerful position that's been um, adopted by the um, academy. And I thought that would be a, maybe a beginning point because I come from exactly the opposite position. And that in the late 60s and the early 70s, um, the modern project was um, exhausted. to that, there were um, things going on culturally which were just incredibly powerful. Um, there was the invention of music, and whether it's rock and roll, or whether it came from the blues, or whether it had to do with ex expansions of jazz, there was an enormous explosion of music. And you forget, the electric guitar was invented in 1945. And so I come along in the 60s, it was only 25 years old, and it was just beginning to be, it was literally an invention. They were producing complete new music. If you listen to Jimi Hendrix today, they're making concertos. They're making classical music now out of Hendrix. Um, he was, had this tool, and it, you, you would connect to it as architects, because we use our tools. We use the conventions of the time in terms of methodologies, and in terms of thinking, and in terms of the things we use to make our things, like, um, a digital environment versus hand environment in our world, that there was this invention taking place. It was just amazing. And it, it, it had huge influence on me. Architecture is somewhat complex, maybe, because there's a culture of architecture, there's an art form, and there's building. And the two live in two different worlds. And of course, um, I'm talking about the culture of architecture as an art form, right? And what's taking place now is that um, the types of questions you're asking are expanding, because the project has more consequences in, in, um, in broader political, cultural, social, environmental, urbanistic, infrastructural areas. So when you start with a giant, the campus, the first one, the land project, that's going to go way back, 25 years ago, uh, we were doing a competition in Vienna, and it was um, for the Expo 84, and uh, we came up with an idea of using um, landforms for building. The plan doesn't make sense to him anymore, and a section doesn't make sense because I'm thinking about something three-dimensionally. The first question is, how does architecture participate in education? Because that's how we started Diamond Ranch. Make sense? It's not like a site, program, this amount of spaces, uh, um, obvious issues of the, just an architecture that has some sort of character in terms of its materials, etc. Um, it starts with really basic issues. Are we useful as architects? 
to educate people. And, and um, I think just in asking questions, a lot of times you're gonna come up with an affirmative that yes, it is possible. But I think probably the most compelling problems of our time are not even in architecture, but in urbanism. And this city represents that. Nobody really even understands the nature of what we call a metropolis and the complexity of, uh, of, of, of a, an, an accumulation of 20 million people plus. You don't want to mimic stuff. You want to make mistakes. Do it yourself and fail. You're only going to learn by making mistakes.